Uh, we're out here at ooh, fish blowing up over here. Let me see. Ah, let's see here. I'm trying to do my intro. Oh, I didn't even cut the pigtail off of that. But let's see. I didn't even cut the pigtail off of that. Oh, I'm crazy there. Let's see. It's not. That's fine. Oh, this thing, oh, they're getting hammered right there. Behind me. Yo, behind me. There we go. Let me cut the pigtail off of this that I left the long tag end. We'll get it. Throw in this, uh, what is this? A little epoxy jig. There they go. There he is. Getting in some action right off the bat. Probably Spanish. Let's see here. Let's see what we got? Looks like a blue runner. Yep, blue runner. Come here, buddy. Oh, got us a blue runner right here. Let's see, man. Let's get the pliers, get them unhooked. Heck yeah, can't even get the intro in. Let me see here. Don't slip. Check out this little guy. So, couldn't get my intro done there. Got uh, interrupted by some fish, so that's always a good thing. But today, out here by popular demand, offshore trip, a couple weeks away from red snapper season. So just gonna come out here, try to catch some fish, have a good time. Uh, got another fellow angler out here with me. Hopefully we can get him on some fish. And uh, you know, y'all stay tuned. Let's see what we get into. All right, y'all, so gonna start off with this uh, Rapala x Rap Longcast 12 in ghost color. It didn't come with the split ring for some reason, so I just put a loop knot on it. We've got 40 pound mono to 20 pound braid. So let's troll this guy, make it out to the reefs, and uh, try to find something at the reefs. All right, so just gonna troll over this reef here and uh, see if we can pick anything up. There he is. Oh, saw that kayak. Looks like a Spanish mackerel. Pretty decent one too. Heck yeah. And some action. Oh man, it's a good size one. Jeez, dude. Okay, here we go. Man. Being a pain in the butt. There we go. All right, anyway, here you go. 
Thanks, dude. You going? He's gone. All right, y'all. So, in typical fashion, something always goes wrong. I try to run my external battery to keep my GoPro from overheating, and my GoPro shut down at some some point. It didn't beep, and I didn't realize it. So I just put another battery back in it. Um, I also just released a red snapper that I probably did not get on video. So we're gonna roll back up here. I don't know how much uh, got recorded since uh, I launched, but um, I'm gonna pull up to this uh, reef up here and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so here we have a one and a half ounce uh, birds of prey circle hook jig head um, in pink color. I got 55 pound mono. Looks like that red snapper chafed through it a little bit, no biggie. But we're gonna hook up a half cigar minnow frozen type onto here. So we're gonna cut this in half. We're gonna take our little fish here, hook it through the nose like such. If we can, we should be able to. I'm gonna watch that thumb just like so and we're gonna throw him out the screens already lit up over there so I'm gonna see if we can spot these all I'm gonna do is pull up over here and I'm gonna throw it out and just let it drift down to the bottom just trying to find the spot up here where the fish are so you can see that stopped normally a fish has it when it stops like that he, he took it, so we're going to keep at it. Get us another piece. This one, I'm going to hook it through the tail. Probably be a little more streamlined down to the bottom. There we go, just like so. I'm going to throw this guy out. Hopefully, get back over. Um, the drift's moving pretty quick. But I can see marks just below me here. Looks like these fish are scattered pretty good. So let's throw this out. We're going over a nice school of fish down here. So you can see this thing's probably gonna stop here. Something's gonna grab it. Something's got it. He probably took it. Nope, just the trigger fish doing what they do best and chewing the heck out of it. Let's see if I can get something there. There they are. All these trigger fish. I see I see a red fish or a red fish. A red snapper. Something's on it there. Something's got it. Nope, he took off with it. So let me pull up here, get my drift and uh, we'll drop another piece of bait. Ouch. Um, stab myself with the scissors here. No biggie. Oh, lit up, lit up. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta drop one. So you can see we're not even over the reef and these fish are stacked up down here. Um, probably a lot of triggers. Don't mind my bleeding thumb here. We'll get that taken care of in a second. Now we'll drop it through the eyeball, see what happens. Oh no, that's tangled up. I see a red snapper was probably eyeballing that. I'll probably just drop it and let it take it. There he is. Don't mind my finger. He's fighting hard. Look at that. Look at that, schooled up snapper right over here. So, look at this guy getting crazy. Let me check something. Yep, we are recording. I had some concerns. All right, here we go. We'll bring him up now and we'll get him released. To make it easier, I might just fish grip him. 
this hook out. Tough to get this circle hook out. There we go. That's hook is sharp. Y'all check this little guy out. Not a keeper. We'll let him go. Well, can't keep red, uh, red snapper right now anyway. But so y'all can see, I don't want to say how easy this is, but this is the setup. Recommendation would be uh, definitely a heavier weight. It's a matter of just getting past those triggers and probably the small snapper. Let's try something real quick. You'll already know I can't resist uh, not throwing a paddle tail. Here we go. like a good there he is hopefully not the triggers oh Jesus that's a good one oh man that joker hammered it and he's still at it Oh no, in typical fashion, dude. That was a good size snapper too. Let me see here. Let's beef up the rod. Man, <laughs> he smoked that thing. Let's see. Oh, he took me all the way down. Got into the structure. Um, we'll tie this off for now. But here we go, undergunned. I thought I had a shot uh, by fishing mid water column uh, with this lure, but not today, not for those big guys. Um, you know, trigger fish, medium sized snapper. So that lure that got hit, it was a four inch Z Man paddle tail on a one ounce uh, jig head, just like this, but a four inch Z Man. This is a five inch uh, Z Man paddle tail. that drift to the bottom there he is get him up and out gotta get him up and out come on come on man come on come on it's a good one go give it up now heck yeah dude come on it's fighting good here he comes that's a good size snapper right here y'all jeez Come here, <laughs> jeez. Got him. Man, what a snapper right here. Whew. Definitely gotta get a photo of this guy. We'll co cooperate bring in a kayak, dude. All right, here we go. Okay, ah, that's a nice one. See here. Let's get this fish. We'll get the camera up front. All right, let's, let's measure this guy real quick. Just to see if this might be my PB. <laughs> oh, he's only 23. So, good fish right here. Man, 
That was awesome. All right, there's something below me here. Well, I just swam by, but we're gonna throw this guy out here. Let's see. Excuse me. Control this over there. Oh, something took it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Man. Dude, I saw some marks on the screen, so I threw that lure out, and I guess this guy decided to come crush it. Man, give me a run for my money now. another red snapper I think gotta be they're stacked up right here so you can see there's no structure here it's just open water in between the reefs and I'm getting a lot of marks there I mean could be a school of trigger fish but also these red snapper up here oh I snagged them on the side I mean he took off running with it Trying to get that um, that knot out of the guide, out of the guide scenario. Maybe we'll, we'll just bring this guy up and net him. There we go. I will let this guy go real quick. Come on, buddy. Seems like a school of red snapper just cruising. Snagged him right there on the side. But we can always go back to that spot and I'll check him out. Not bad. They don't, they don't like when I grab him. There he goes. <laughs> I guess I'm pretty good at fumbling snapper. Whew, man, I'm pumped up everybody. So far, very productive trip. Oh, we tried. Let me drop that about 20, 30 feet. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> I feel like the smaller ones they want the bait and the bigger ones want the lures that's just my opinion um, let's see here shake this guy off oh we're not Can't just shake this guy off. There he goes. I was trying to go through this bait so it doesn't go to waste. Um, sure, I could have probably kept it on ice and used it for next time, but I'm not really up for all that. It's snatched up quickly. Only marking fish here, it's below. going over them. There he is. There 
is. Some other guy. Trigger. Feels like a trigger. Smaller red snapper. There we go. These guys love that bait. No giving me a hard time today, man. I'll definitely bring them in too green. Let's see if we can just fish grip them, make life easy. So I say. Thanks, little fella. Look at him, acting like a bass, shaking his head at me. We will keep at it, y'all. So, you don't really need to chum. I'm just doing it for fun. Um, because I don't want to throw that bait away. I mean, ultimately, if I didn't want to use it, I would just throw it in the water and uh, call it a day but why not try to use some of it to my advantage by chumming it up and trying to get these fish to come up and eat because I'm marking them up here on the surface well not on the surface but not too far below a small one eating here oh there he is that's a little bit Okay, one. Man. There he goes. Man, let's go pick up the fight, dude. Oh, come on. What was that? Did he pop off? It looked like he took my lure. Could have been a shark. There's no way you got, there's no structure there. It might have been a shark. Something came up and I don't know. Either way, uh, let me pack this up and we will use the other rod with the lure on it. Um, I just don't feel like retying right now. So, uh, so it looks like we're down to one rod because I don't want to retie right now. Y'all can see how it goes and why you want to have multiple rods. So here we go. Let me see which way do I need to go. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna push back up over the reef um, and then just drift all the way back. Uh, so we're gonna throw this back and sort of troll it as best as we can. course start marking the fish now so let's do this um, so we're gonna do a slow troll um, look at that here they are man let me see them but we'll definitely be drifting over them What I'll probably do is just chuck this bait. We're gonna get rid of this bait. I don't really need it for this time. Let me see here. What we're gonna do is put some water in here. Sure, I can try and troll and look for something else on the way back, but I got about an hour of fishing left. And uh, I'm having this out and then what I'm going to do here I'll kick that 
out. Oh. Something grabbed it. Something's on it. Nope, I guess not. Some have grabbed it. Let me let it drift down. There he is. Some took off with it. We'll see what this is. Put a little more on it. Hopefully he didn't doesn't get in any weird structure. Oh, what's that up on the surface? I don't know what this is, but it's coming up on the surface. It'd be sick if it's a cobia. Oh, it's a cobia! It's a cobia! Oh! oh. Dude, just slow roll in that paddle tail. I think he's gonna be short. We'll measure him. Um, I wasn't planning on keeping fish, but this one's gonna be a good catch here. Let's see if he's ready. Nope. buddy man he took off good too <laughs> he is not ready dude come on all right let me make sure this guy gets tired Come on. He's a fighter. Come on, come on. He's digging now. I think we can get him now. He does not want to be caught. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. Man. Come on, buddy. Oh, he turned on that. Dude, just trying to get this guy in the net. But also, I guess, don't want to bring him in the kayak all green. So, just want to make sure I land him. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. All right, y'all, so here we go. Had to do a GoPro swap mid-fight. But here we are. I think he's ready. Maybe he doesn't pop off. Come on, buddy. Man, it's, man he keeps turning on it. Got him, here we go. He's gonna be short, but Heck of a fight here. Going to get a good photo of him. Let me see here. I'm trying to I guess clean up my station now. Real quick, get some of this stuff out of the way. These guys get pretty squirrely. Definitely gonna measure this guy. Um, look at this guy. 
keep him down here for now. I gotta get that hook out. There it is. Get this out of the way. I act like I ain't been fishing in a minute. There we go. All right, let's see here. Don't buy my pants, man. Dude. All right. Let me measure this guy. I'll get a little visual here. My rod up here. Okay, so here we go. Holy. Oh. Chill, dude. Oh, man. He's probably right at he's 32 uh to the fork 32 and a half to 32 and a half to the fork so gonna get this camera up front gonna get a good photo i'm gonna let him go i'm off and we'll let him go Y'all check this fish out. Don't flop on me, dude. <laughs> Heck yes, man. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Let's let him go. Oh, he's gone. Hey, he goes down there. Heck yeah. Nice little 32 and a half inch cobia. All right, so real quick on the setup, if I hadn't talked about it yet, uh, five inch Z-Man paddle tail in pearl color on a I want to say it's a three quarter ounce or a one ounce jig head um, by Z-Man. 40 pound mono for liter, about four feet long. This is 20 pound braid as the main line. So that's the setup. Rod, medium heavy, real BG 4000. Um, but saying wasn't doing anything in particular, just drop that lure back there. I felt something kind of grab it um, initially, something small. So then I uh, gave it a couple pops, and next thing you know, this, you know, it takes off. I thought it was a, a big old red snapper. Um, there, there's no structure there. Uh, I was concerned a little bit about structure, but this thing really took off. The drag was loose, and even once I tightened the drag up, uh, drag up, it it took off. So pretty awesome catch. That's the second one I've ever caught, um, and it's pretty awesome glad i came out here today um i thought about doing a long inshore trip um just because i didn't want to burn the gas all the way out here just to not really keep any fish since red snapper season is not open yet but hey i'm glad i made it out here and uh pretty great conditions out here and we're gonna see if we can find some more fish so y'all stay tuned I should be seeing these fish that are swimming up under me according to this thing Unless they're deeper. There they go. There they go. I see them now. Damn, they're pretty far down there. They're just cruising. Coordinates here. A couple small marks there. Nothing significant. Something's tapping it. I think it's these triggers. Oh, I guess I gotta turn right. Oh, there's something. Bonita. 
本地的。That thing took off. <laughs> Remora's on it over there. Where were you when I needed you, man, for bait? Well, I didn't really need bait because the other guy brought the cigar minnows and let me have them. Oh, you spit it. Go figure. All right, y'all, as you can see, that's going to wrap up today's video. Uh, doing the outro in the truck, not a fan of it, but. I messed up and didn't hit the record button uh, when I was on the water. So either way, things happen, and here we are. So I appreciate y'all tuning in and watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, I also want to give special thanks to everyone who subscribed to the channel uh, and continues to watch my videos. Uh, well over 900 subscribers now. So I appreciate y'all. Appreciate the love and support. Um, you know, motivates me to keep getting out here and. Uh, making more videos yeah i enjoy the hobby of, of making content and it makes it even better when others enjoy the content as well so i appreciate y'all's positive feedback liking the videos and commenting so thank you for that um today turned out a pretty awesome day hopefully uh you know y'all learned a little bit something from me um you know trying to get out here offshore and, and get on some red snapper especially when the season opens in a couple weeks so uh once again hopefully y'all enjoyed the video if you did leave a like leave a comment if you're not subscribed to the channel, check out my other videos and consider subscribing. I'll catch y'all next time.